So I've always kind of been uneasy because I didn't have a fuse right on the positive terminal of the battery. And, you know, I was kind of justifying it to myself in the, I said, well, the BMS has got like a cutoff, an overcurrent cutoff. There's a 400 amp fuse before it gets into any of the other circuitry, but, you know, I was still uncomfortable. Anyway, I did some research and um, found that my discomfort was somewhat justified. And the problem is that um, lithium batteries, uh, especially when you stack them up so that, uh, you know, you've got a high voltage like I've got, I've got 48 volts, can really deliver a lot of current. Um, I've read like 6,000 amps, something like that. And the problem with that is that if you've got a fuse in the way, then what can happen is that the fuse can blow and then you can get arcing across between the two ends. And so you still get the current flowing. And the way to solve that is a special fuse, which is called a class T fuse, which uh, will resist that kind of arcing over up to 20,000 amps, which should easily be enough. So I've now got that fuse. I've got the fuse holder, which were similarly expensive. So now I've just got to wire it into the positive uh, terminal of the battery and hopefully that should be me done with the kind of major bits of the electrics. This is a class T fuse, 400 amps, and it fits into this fuse holder, both of which are rather expensive. And here it is in place. I was hoping that I was be able to reuse the uh, positive lead that was already on the main battery. But of course, once I'd cut it to put the fuse block in place, then it was slightly too small. Also, I've run out of black heat shrink. So uh, I've got that green and yellow, but I'm just gonna get some more black and um, put it over the top at some point in the future. And this time, when I put everything back, it actually uh, fired up first time, so that was a very nice uh, experience because if you remember last time I did work on the battery, it took me ages to get the thing going again. So, uh, yeah, we're back up and running. So uh, I think that this is as safe as it's going to get now. And my next step is to get all this inspected, see if there are any improvements that I can make and maybe get them to write a letter saying that uh, it's all been done uh, well.